Rust has auto sorting systems via conveyors, as most of us know. But did you know the newest Rust update, Pivot or Die, provided a new way to organize items within each box? Say goodbye to modded servers. Now, all you need is a storage adapter and one power per adapter. The name's Sledge, and let's jump into this. This update provided a handful of general changes to Rust, and honestly, I almost missed this one in the notes. Now, storage adapters have a power input and pass-through on top of the already existing industrial ports. Once attached to a box and powered, you will see a setting cog within the loop bin. When you click on the cog, it will open a panel for sorting settings. Starting with the first row, when the enabled panel is set to on, the sorting will match the settings however you have them. With off revealed, it will turn off the sorting. I found the off toggle useful when I'm adjusting other settings, such as custom mode. Sorting will occur anytime sorting is possible at intervals of about one second. The next row down covers the modes. I'd suggest alphabetical, as it will line up your items in the most visually organized way, in my opinion. But there's also count mode, which orders them from least to most per stack, condition, which sorts them by how damaged they are, category, which sorts by type, such as ammunition, weapons, or components, and custom, which we will cover shortly. The next two rows are straightforward, but can be handy. Reverse simply means you can set the items to sort in an ascending or a descending order based on the mode you set. As for stack, I personally love this. If you turn the setting on, your items will auto stack. This simply means if a player drags something like ammo into an open slot, if there's a matching ammo type not in a full stack, it will merge them together, creating more space within your box. Now let's cover the custom mode. This mode allows players to organize the box however you want layout-wise. To do this, lay out the items in the storage bin however you prefer. If you want a few rows of resources but don't have enough to fill each slot, just move one unit of each to fill them. Once you have your layout set, go into your sort settings and take a snapshot under the custom mode. Apply the changes and now whenever you place items into this bin, it will match the sorting to your snapshot as best as it can. It will automatically set all items to the top left even if the snapshot shows all slots full. I did notice if you exceed the slot reserved for items in the snapshot, it will simply fill the next closest slot over. Also, if there's items added to the bin that were not in the snapshot, it will place them at the bottom of the box. So with this said, in a bin of resources, for example, you can just put one stack per slot into the bin, take a snapshot, and it will order your items by resource no matter how many units you may have of each. For example, refer to my snapshot here, and no, if I exceed the max stack on any of these items, it will continuously sort them in groups to match the order I save them in. It's important to note, you do not need to connect the adapters to any piping for the sorting within the box to work. They simply need power routed to them to operate. I found this new feature of the storage adapter to be so, so handy, especially with bigger teams and keeping track of all items. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button for future uploads. Also, join the Sledge Discord server in the description below for more Rust talks and vibes. Now, let the items do the sorting so you can get back to the actual game. Happy rusting, my friends, and I'll see you on the next one.